Hi guys, so uh, as you can see in front of me, I've got a mess of stuff that I've picked up over the last uh, however long it's been since I've made a video. Uh, I don't even know at this point because I've made of several and I haven't uploaded a bunch. Um, a lot of this stuff was Clarence or on sale. Uh, there's only a couple things that I think I paid retail for. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of jump into this and we'll go from there. So up first, got a Leonardo um, from the 2012 line. Um, I don't think I ever showed you guys the video, uh, but I picked up a bunch of or uh, um, uh, Michelangelo, Dantello, and Raphael from Ollie's and also picked up a lot of the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Um, I don't think I ever showed you that, guys, though. Uh, these have this little weird Yochi Preziosi. Uh... I don't remember those on the originals. Um, so if any of you guys know what that is from, let me know. Okay. Some kind of set stuff over here for now. Oh, before I get too far into this, might as well show you these real quick. So I did pick up some Ninja Turtle wrapping paper. This is at the Five Below store. Um, I bought them because I was going to use them for some friends. Uh, but I kind of want to keep them because it looks really cool. It has like a tint to it so it kind of looks vintage. Like it's yellowed almost. Um, Alright. Now a lot of this stuff is Christmas presents for other people. Or just... Yeah, so... Um, Anyway, I did pick up the Loyal Subjects Gremlins 2-pack at Walmart uh, with the Flocked Gizmo and the Glow in the Dark Stripe. Um, I did not find either of the prototype figures. Uh, they were all cleaned out by the time I got there, but I'm really happy to have that. I was really wanting this set. At first, I didn't think, I didn't notice that he was flocked uh, until I read it on the back. Um, I thought he had that plastic syndrome that some of the Ninja Turtles and figures get where the plastic starts to degrade and starts to look fuzzy. Uh, but yeah, really happy to have that. That's probably one of my more favorite, out of, aside from the last three things I'm going to show you. Those are my top favorites, and I've been sitting on those for a while. Um, then I've got Scorpion. Uh, his box is jacked. These were all five bucks at GameStop. Uh, I got another one. Um, not really a big Mortal Kombat guy, but I like the, these figures. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I don't know if I'm going to give them away to one of my friends. I kind of want to use them for trades, so, uh, if someone wants to trade something for them, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm probably going to at least keep one for me. So if I decide to either keep it or give it to one of my friends. What do you want up here, buddy? Come on, get up here. Get up here, buddy. Sorry. Cat needs attention. Uh, why can't you be like the dog and just lay on the couch and sleep? Um, yeah. So, got two of those. And I also got two of these. Sub-Zero variants, the ice variant. I, th I think this, as far as the translucent figure goes, looks really cool. I love this translucent skull here. Um, those are all GameStop thingies. Oh, I'm just going to make a pile here. Then, picked up this Jim Lee Wonder Woman. That's, uh, I probably won't keep that. That's probably also going to be for trade. And then I picked up Luke. And this is for a friend. This is a 7-inch Claptrap vinyl figure. I picked up a couple games. I picked up uh, Borderlands 3. 
and Spider-Man Ultimate Game of the Year Edition thing. I haven't opened them or played them yet. Because um, I got Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. Because uh, it was on sale for like 25 bucks, So I jumped on it and got that. Uh, so far I've only played up to the Reactor. Uh, the first Reactor. Uh, and bought the big giant lobster thingy. Crab thingy. Scorpion thingy. Whatever it is. Um, it's definitely a lot more complicated than the original Final Fantasy was, so um, I don't play video games a lot, so I'm still trying to get used to it. But we'll get there, sure. Uh, this is also for a friend. I actually have almost, I actually picked up all of the rest of these figures for dirt cheap off of Walmart's website. I don't think I paid more than this one was. $7.88 and I want to say I actually paid five bucks for it and I think most of the ones on Walmart's website I paid five bucks for and then picked up this guy for a friend Borderlands Psycho um, And I'm not sure if I ever showed these off before. I got this. I had Ian. And I had the Velociraptor. But I just recently got Delta. So I still need to find the rest of the uh, Raptors. I don't know if I'll buy them or not. up these for a friend these are all these uh glios fallout figures um anyone knows what glios is these are the uh action figures that you can swap out the parts for so it's not just fallout like there's companies that make them there's individual artists that make them and they're all made on this exact same peg system so you can have like a little robot guy and swap his arms out for human or whatever swap their heads I just think it's a cool idea. And then I picked up the Hot Rod Shark armor and Nick Valentine and another Hot Rod Shark. Those, like I said, are for a friend. Uh, he's all, My other buddy is also getting these. Uh, I don't know what these are. I thought I actually thought this was that exploded in Kitty game. Um... But it's not. I don't know what it is. I think it's got like maybe a cats or something in it. I don't know. It's heavy as shit though. Whatever it is. Um, so yeah. Then I picked up this. At an FYE kind of place. Um, it was only a couple bucks. It was actually a lot cheaper than what it's showing there. Um, so was this. I think this was the most expensive thing I bought there. It was eight bucks. For Voldemort. And Wolverine was like five bucks, I think. So Q Fig Wolverine. And speaking of a five dollar Wolverine, this is the crappiest Wolverine ever made. Come on, dude. I don't know what you want. You want up there? Okay. Now if you knock over any of that stuff, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm sorry. I know you don't like to be scruffed like that. I'm sorry. I hate doing that to you. Get out of here. All right. Sorry about that. So, is this not the worst Wolverine ever made? Like, I would take any of the uh, vi classic vintage Toy Biz Wolverines over this one. This is awful. I'm not even sure it's worth the five bucks I paid for it. So... That is definitely up for trade if anyone actually likes that figure. Um, <laughs> I picked up this. Not really my wheelhouse, but I really just wanted the Ewok. I like Ewoks. Uh, if, as you can tell, I moved my Ewok village up here. I actually have done a bunch of work. You can't see it. I'll do a room tour at some point, but I moved my Ewok village up here on this little shelf.
Alright. Alright, so I also got uh, some loyal subjects uh, because they were cheap through GameStop. Unfortunately, you didn't get to pick which one you wanted, so they just kind of showed up. So I got Ripley, which didn't really care for. I got Slimer, which I'm okay with. And I got Janine, which I really don't care for. So if anyone wants a Janine or the Ripley to trade for something, I would prefer uh, any of the other figures, actually, on the Ghostbuster side. I really just don't want that Janine figure. Um, obviously, I would prefer a Ghost or a Ghostbuster, but... Yeah, and same way with Ripley. Like, I would take any of the aliens. I don't really care for the Marines that much, but... Yeah. I'm okay with Ripley. I'd rather have her over most of the Marines. Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with keeping that if someone doesn't want it. Uh, then I picked up... My buddy is into... Well, my friends is into... Uh, Animal Crossing, so I grabbed this little amiibo at Five Below. And the friend that's getting all the Dark Crystal stuff is getting this thing. Unfortunately, this little bastard fell out of his thing. It was actually even cheaper than $2.99. Like a dollar or something at FYE. Uh, what else? Picked up this Gundam for 5 bucks at GameStop. So eventually, I've got like three of these things. Eventually, one day I'll just open them all up and do like a big review on all three of them. Because I kind of want to see what they look like. Like, I know they don't have stands, and I wish they did. But, yeah. Then, I've only found one of these so far. Uh, this is the Leonardo Monster Truck. Uh, the two I really want is Raphael and Krang. So I'm hoping I find those at some point in time. But only have found Leonardo so far. Uh, this one was a heck of a deal, I think. This is... Let me turn this camera here. So this is the Bat Raptor. Um, what's funny is... Hold on. Sorry about that. So it sounded like something fell down my house. Or outside my house. But anyway... Um, so I've been wanting one of these for a while. I just hadn't brought myself to, to, to get one. Um. I wish this little heater would stay on it here. Um, anyway. So... Long story short, they had this on sale. Um, I ended up buying one for a friend um, who's been collecting the Batman stuff. And then I ended up lucking into one at GameStop for or five bucks. So I thought for five bucks, this thing is pretty damn cool. Because after I bought one and brought it home and seen it, I was like, man, I wish I would have got one for me. And then I got lucky and got one for five bucks. So, um,. I got everything up here on the table. Yeah. Um, so. You know what? Before we bring up the big stuff here, let's do this. So. Got another one of these. Which, that makes, this is the, an extra, so. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So, there we go. So, I'll go with my new display case with the other ones. Um, let's 
some Ninja Turtle binoculars. And I picked up uh, extra uh, foot cruiser. Um, could have swore I had more parts for this thing. Maybe not. Anyway, um, it wasn't that cheap, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it's all right. Uh, this is just going to be painted. Uh, it's going to be uh, custom painted to be like the uh, Neutrinos cars. Yeah, that's what. So this one's going to be either the red one or the blue one. I've still got to find a few parts for it. Um, these side steps, which I really don't need it because they really didn't have them, but I'm still going to put them on it. Um, what else did it need? I got it. And uh, I don't know if I have one of the extra covers for that. But. Oh, well. Hang on. This I thought was pretty cool. <coughs> and then Turtle Bicorn. And then I got these stores, Quick Strike. And Bride April O'Neil. And then I got Leonardo from the next mutation wave. And I just completely had a brain fart on her name. Venus? Oh, it's a chick from the next mutation line. Those are actually, I think, some of the few mutation line figures I have. I don't have not been collecting those. And then I picked up the Night Mutations Michelangelo. So, I think... Yeah, I've got... Who's up there? Raphael, Donatello, I think I need Leonardo. And I've got Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, so I just need Leonardo in that line. Alright. Next up, this is a big box, so we'll see if we can get it to fit. Is the... Jurassic World. Oh, I'm still gonna stretch it more. Uh, Brachiosaurus. Uh, apparently, it's the size of a kid. I don't know. Um, I assume his neck probably goes all the way up in here. I wonder if this is supposed to be close to life size of the toy. Doesn't say. I had some kind of coupon or something at Target. That's the reason why I got this. Um, I've been wanting it for a while, but I just didn't want to pay the full 50 bucks for it. And then... So a lot of people have been asking me about the Baroness figure that I had extra of. And I wish I would have bought... Because I had a chance to buy a couple of them. And if I knew that many people were looking for it, I would have bought them for, for people. But those videos you guys seen was really old. Like, by the time I had already told a guy that I would basically trade for him for this. I was just waiting on him to bring it back to town to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I know Area 51 was looking for a, a, a Baroness. Um, I just feel bad that I couldn't buy, that I didn't buy more of the... Uh, um, Baronesses, because your friendly neighborhood YouTuber messaged me about it, and I just felt bad and not giving it to him because I already promised someone this. Um, but it kind of worked out for me too that way. 
because the Baroness only cost me 40 bucks. These sets go for 50. And if you look at what they, I would have had to have paid aftermarket or after, you know, cause the, this one's not being restocked right now. It would have cost me 80 bucks. So instead of having to spend 80 bucks to get the set, I only had to spend the 40. So that's why I did it. But I got April and the foot soldier battle damage foot soldier. I love that it comes with the little alien. Uh, I can't really tell what else is in there, but I've watched some reviews, so I have an idea. But and then Bebop's on the communicator. I like that April though, I really do. So I got that set, and then this is my favorite of this haul. Is the Triceraton, Triceraton Infantry Man and Roadkill Rodney. And. Oh, those are different Triceraton hands. So I'm still waiting on the other yellow and uh, green Triceratons. Hopefully, I'll find those soon. Uh, apparently they're starting to hit stores so back on the hunt again unfortunately um my uh mecha shelf is completely full uh and i just they just sent us out notifications that our um loot crates are shipping so we got we're gonna have some other NECA turtles uh coming out and then uh, we just got notice that the two pack um, token Razar are going to start shipping soon too. I think I have another Shredder and Raff and Casey coming, and then I've got an extra Raff and Casey, possibly. So if anyone is looking for the Raff and Casey, uh, let me know. I'm not going to get rid of it until I know for sure that I have my second set in here. But I don't need three sets, so if someone is missing one of those, I'm not going to gouge you for it, even though we did pay 40 bucks in shipping for those things. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll work out some kind of trade for them. Even, yeah, what did we pay? Because the set was 50, and then we paid 40 bucks in shipping for them. 30 or 40? Or something ridiculous. I think it was 30 is what they charged on those. Something stupid. Um, but I ended up making the Raff and Casey set very expensive. Uh, but they did the same thing with the Token Rousar and the Super Shredder. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, we'll uh, see you for the next one.